Hello and welcome to my channel. And today I thought we'd wrap up my Burke number 22 drill press project with a review on everything that I did and also wrap up this year, 2023. Let's get into that. Like I said, I wanted to wrap up my Burke number 22 drill press project. The whole thing is finished, except for testing it. I know it runs, but I have not drilled the hole. I thought I'd save that to do it with years. But first I wanna go over the few of the things that I've changed or updated or fixed to make this old drill press work again. I got a new chuck for it. I started to put that old one together and I went, after looking on Amazon, I saw this for $24. I don't know what the brand is, really don't care. It fits on here, it looks pretty, and it works. And I don't have to keep trying to remember where I put the chuck key. That's new in here is a new spring or a spring that I fixed. That was a video. As you see, I have the serpentine belt, which works just fine. Uh, that was new. All of these brass, what, what did I call them? Thrust washers. So that when these things move up and back, because they do, especially after I change uh, pulleys, these will have to be in a different position. The motor I rebuilt, I did not make a video of that. You would not believe all the junk I found in there, all kinds of chips. I'm surprised that it, it run, it, well, it started to run. And I, I could tell that, uh, there's power in there. It wants to run. So I took it apart. I got on YouTube, found out how to clean up an old motor, and did that. This switch I happen to have, I made this little uh, dashboard. I still have to put something over all these wires. I don't like these things just hanging. Uh, I painted it. I lettered it. I love it. <laughs> And now it's time to drill a hole. Let's get into that. My 3 16 stubby drill. Oh, I love that. Okay. A 1 8 thick piece of aluminum angle. Turn it on. And let's drill this through. And there we have it. <clears throat> you guys are a witness. My first hole on my Burke number 22 drill press. It's 100, 120 years old. I'm not sure exactly. But this project is a wrap. Also, this year, I'd like to wrap up 2023. I will be coming back next year with more lathe work. January 6th will be my first video of the year where I'll be doing some power tapping where I just put a tap in my drill chuck and push the tap right into the spinning work. You got to see how that comes out. So anyway... I wanted to thank all my subscribers. Thank you. And I'd like to wish everybody a happy New Year's. Thank you. And until next time, enjoy.